If you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? If y'all could get paid to do anything, what would y'all get paid to do? If you could get paid to do anything in the world, what would you get paid to do? Probably doing art. I really like enjoy drawing and painting and stuff like that. Oh, that's a good question. Question. Uh, I don't mind getting paid to, you know, play soccer. Uh, it's it's not something that I feel like I'm too confident in right now. So. Yeah, it's my lifelong dream to be a soccer player. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I could get paid to do anything, I I would love to cook. <laughs> I would actually love to cook for people. I am not doing it as much, nor am I like projecting it, putting it out there in the world, so I'm not doing anything with it, but if you were just able to snap your fingers, I think I would be able to do that. Yeah, I haven't been brave enough. I mean, there's so many people in that space. I was gonna ask you. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, what's holding you back? Yeah, I'm, I'm just not brave enough. Man, what's going on, people? Ronnie's feet coming back. Man, you know what time it is. Here we have another video, man. We got Uber versus the nine to five or corporate America. Which one, which one is better? Which one is more beneficial? Which one will provide you more happiness? Hmm, let's, let's discuss it real quick. First and foremost, I'm pretty sure you guys just watched the whole clip prior. And um, it's kind of interesting, man, because you know, most people have been sold and told a lie. Go to college, get a degree, work hard, save money on 401k, and you will be happy and you will live a fantastic life or you will be living the American dream. But unfortunately, that is not the life that most people truly want to live. And how do I know? Look at the questions I asked them. What is success? And if you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? Let's talk about it. So if you never ask yourself, if you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? I think you should start really thinking about it and uh, really start planning your life because it's important, man. I think that's why a lot of people are unhappy and frustrated because they're not truly living the life that they want to live and they are scared to even take action and they don't have the confidence. But I truly believe that most people could change their life if they just take action and start on the things that they truly want to do. So if you've been watching my content for a while, you've been seeing a lot of people out there who's making $2,000, who are the two racks a week winners. They are readapting their mindset, creating visions for themselves. And you know, they know exactly what they wanna do for the future or have some type of concrete idea on the lifestyle that they wanna live. And um, I think that's half the battle to be successful, not just working for a company and you know, not being in control of your life. And that's why I can say, and that's why I do respect a lot of people, a lot of drivers, I should say, out there who are trying to make things happen, live the life that they want to live and not listening to the, to the noise from unsuccessful people or people who would never take the risk for themselves, man. So real quick, I'm gonna play a clip of some of the drivers and their mindsets and how they, you know, view success and the lifestyle that they want to live. Don't worry about the negativity. Don't worry about what your family or friends might think. I'm watching your videos, people walking off of corporate jobs and this and that because they making 2,000 a week doing Uber. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a six figure guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I like I like living a certain kind of way. Um, because I'm not trying to go back into the workforce. I don't need nobody telling me what to do. Okay. <laughs> Having jobs and stuff like that. I don't want nobody telling me what to do no more. You know, I'm trying to live life on my terms. If I have a goal or something, I'm gonna reach it. I, I don't, you know, I guess, you know, broke through a wall, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, I mean, you can't, I can't go back, you know? Top of the top of the top of the line. I don't, I would never go back to my nine to five. I will never go back to my nine to five. Man, your mentality is everything. Okay, now you've seen like the mindset of these drivers of these men and women how confident they are in themselves. They truly believe in themselves and they put the work in and they know that they are capable to reach to reach in their dreams. Now let's take a flip side of that of the people who have jobs or work in corporate America. You see the differences in the mindset um, and, uh, and the confidence. Let's take a look. All right, there you go. So already, yeah, there you go. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? My name is Jada. I will be getting a tattoo today. I'm getting driven by this lovely man over here. 
um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Shout out to Chino Hills. Well, I, I, well, I got a quick question while you're on there. Okay. If you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? Um, like, oh, shoot. I don't know. Like anything? Anything. Like hmm. if I can snap my finger and I'm like, you could do this for the rest of your life and get paid for it. What would it be? Probably doing art. I really like enjoy drawing and painting and stuff like that. Okay. But uh, it's it's not something that I feel like I'm too confident in right now. So I am not doing it as much, nor am I like projecting it, putting it out there in the world. So I'm not doing anything with it. But if you were just able to snap your fingers, I think I would be able to okay, do that. Well, well, why do you feel that you're not confident? Um, I'd say, I don't know. I just, you know, like, like adults and stuff like that in your life they're like oh this isn't gonna be like a good job for you or it's not gonna work out or blah 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 um i don't know i just kind of listen to them and that's unfortunate because <laughs> i know right i need i need to do what i want to do listen to me <laughs> i'm the person to listen to no do that shit yeah i know i should especially if you're good why would you listen to somebody who would never take the risk really pursue the things that they want to pursue and they'll just, they'll just put their limited beliefs upon you true fuck them just go after it do it fuck try them. you know at least try yeah you're right you'll you're be right. surprised mm -hmm. you should call everybody who told you that it's not a good idea to have a word with them. i know it's just i'm i'm mexican my family is like no, that's not gonna work out. And, like, you should be like a good job. You should have like a good stable job. It's okay, not so stable. what do they think is a good stable job? Anything but pursuing art, I think. Anything with like a stable income. So do they, do they uh, say what type of occupation they would like you to have? <clears throat> um, mostly like medical field. So but you go to med school and shit. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. I'm about to say, who the fuck gonna pay for it? <laughs> exactly. Not, not me right now. Right. So they want you to go to med school, but they don't want to pay for it. Exactly. And you don't want to do it, so you just do your art. You know, just work in the meantime and do your art and find ways you can sell it and you know, get it out there. You just never give up. Never give up. <laughs> Thank you. All right, sorry, rolling. There you go. You can hold it. Hey. Hello. Yeah, man. Tell them what y'all what y'all got going on. Hey, man. We're just going for a quick lunch, and then we're gonna go for golf, and actually more for the drinks. A lovely yeah. day outside today. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, got, I, got, I got a couple more questions. Uh huh. So, um, what is success to you? Success. Success to me is that I can provide for my family, lead a comfortable life, not have to worry about three meals. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. and then, okay. And what then lead a carefree life, man. Okay, right, go. What about, what about for you? For me, just about the travel all the, around the <laughs> world, just okay. having good drinks and good life, you know, that's success to me. Okay. So the, the, the last question, if y'all could get paid to do anything, what would y'all get paid to do? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. Good question. I don't mind getting paid to, you know, play soccer. Okay. Yeah, it's my lifelong dream to be a soccer player. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but clearly, I'm not no longer in shape to do that. But yeah, that would be great, man. Okay. What about for you? For me, I think I'll get paid to go sampling for food. You know, we're just traveling around the world. <laughs> sample stuff, you know, trying new new releases, you know, new stuff. That would okay. be good, yeah. So when are you going to start traveling the world sampling food? Oh, where? Anywhere. Um, yeah, actually, California's a good start. Yeah. Right? Y'all should do it together. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Definitely, man. Yeah, get you a camera, record vlogs, y'all try uh -huh. food, and uh -huh. start a YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's it's, actually a brilliant idea. Yeah. Of course. Uh -huh. And so you get paid to do it, right? Yeah, eventually you can, yeah. If you yeah, yeah. it long enough. Like Mark Weens, right? It. Yeah. Cool. So how long have you been doing YouTube? For like a year and a half. Nice. Wow. What's your channel? I'll just do a quick search yeah. now. Yeah, uh, Ronnie... Oh, I have to end it. You'll Alright, cool. Thank you. Alright, here you go. Hold it. Do you want me to hold it? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Alright, so, uh, I just want to ask you first, if you could give an introduction where you're from and how long you've been in San Francisco. Sure thing. I'm, I'm Anna. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I was born in Chile, um, in South America, but 
I moved to San Francisco at the beginning of the pandemic. So five days into shelter in place, uh, a little over two years ago. Okay. Now, the next question is, what, what does success mean to you? Success, it's so complex. Um, a lot of people have a different view to me on this. I, I think ultimately I'm on a pursuit of happiness. And if I'm happy, if my husband's happy, if our kids are happy, then we've succeeded at something. Um, and just being present and able to enjoy the moment and enjoy each other's company. Okay. Um, I value that over anything. I um, recently quit a job and took a 40% pay cut in my new job. Okay. Because money ain't everything. It's not, you know, I, I think that you have to kind of look at in, in your life, what actually gives you the balance, what actually aligns with your values, what actually gives you purpose. Um, and once you're kind of, I, for lack of a better term, like ticking those boxes, you're making progress and succeeding in your own little way. So if you could get paid to do anything in the world, what would you get paid to do? I... I've got to say, I do love what I do. I, I write, I write proposals for a living, but if I could get paid to do anything, I'd, I would love to cook. Okay. <laughs> I would actually love to cook for people. Okay. Yep, yeah, that is, for me, that's my love language, feeding people. And, you know, but I'm, I'm late in life now, so it's, I've kind of missed that boat. Not really, it's not yeah. too late. When, when are you gonna start cooking for people? Oh gosh, well I start at home. Okay. <laughs> I cook for the family. But um and, and you know, invite like I invite people over and, and just take so much pride and joy in actually preparing meals and watching people eat. Not in a creepy way, you know. Yeah, you should make yeah. a YouTube channel. About cooking. Yeah. Make a YouTube channel. Uh just record every time you cook and have people come over and record their reactions, facial expressions, so you're having a good time and your yeah, well, the other thing, you know, if I could combine my love of food and my love of writing, I would love to be a food writer. That's something that, you know, um, yeah, I haven't been brave enough. I mean, there are so many people in that space. I was going to ask you. Yeah. I was going to ask you, what's holding you back? Yeah, I'm, I'm just not brave enough. I feel like lately I have made so many risky moves like moving to the US for example from Australia like leaving my family my comfort zone my career and just everything that I knew and loved to come here with my husband and two kids I mean that's great but that was so risky like I feel like I'm done making huge taking big risks for the moment <laughs> you're a risk taker that's good yeah. Life is about risk. You yeah. Alive. Yeah. I think you should go after. I think you should do it. You like writing. You like food. You like cooking. Just combine them, man. Yeah. You're not gonna lose. It's a win-win. Yeah. Because once you make an article or, or blog or blog and you post it, you are a success. I might you had a plan. Go. You executed. Yeah. You overcame your your fear. You know, you was courageous, so you should do it. Yeah, that's a good point. And that's you what should. this whole video segment is about, right? That here. is unreal. This is great. No, you've seriously got me thinking, you yeah, know? Yeah, you should know it. Yeah. You should know it. I knew, see, I knew, I knew it was something about your life. I knew you'd be down <laughs> for it. I knew it. I could read people pretty good. Oh, gosh. I just feel like we don't talk about this stuff enough. Yeah. Well, you know? Yeah, well, thank you. Well, yeah. I can eat it. Thank you. No worries. So most people, that other individuals, decide their faith for them. And I think that's a bad way to go. I'm... I mean, if you truly know what you want out of life, I think you should go after it. And don't let nobody discourage you. At least try it. Because if it doesn't work, you could always look back and be like, I at least tried it. Compared to you getting older and older, then you have regret. And um, you're too tired. You're too tired to try. You're too tired to work hard. You know, then life beat you over the head. Maybe your health is deteriorating. You know, you need to go, man. And you need to go now. Stop waiting and uh, stop being scared. That's all I really have to say about that. But yeah, man, I hope y'all got some, uh, a different perspective on it. You know how a lot of Uber drivers think, 
um, compared to the normal people at, at these nine to five. So, man, who's really in control of their life at the end of the day? That's all I have to say, man. You know, even for all the, the examples I use for the men and women, I want to thank y'all for hopping on camera. Uh, I guess being uh, vulnerable in some aspect, being truthful. And um, if y'all watching this, man, I think y'all should, you know, go after what y'all want. And, like, really try it. See how you do. I don't think you could fail. I think it's something that um, y'all are passionate about. Even when y'all answer the questions, like, just look how y'all just lit up. Like, y'all just start smiling. You know, the, the body language change. And I think y'all should just go after it, man. That's all I really have to say. Ain't gonna make it too long. But... You know, for the Lyft drivers, Uber drivers, you know, continue to grind, make the money, plan for the future, you know, uh, write things down, learn new skill sets, and just keep trying, man. And, you know, if you want to quit, you could definitely quit. Nobody's forcing you, but, you know, you, you know what's waiting for you. So <laughs> that's all I really have to say, man. But, you know, like the video, comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want me to do more of these interviews. And I'm going to leave you guys with, you know, some words of encouragement from uh, from two people who made two racks a week. Holla back. Peace. Uh, you got to have that mindset like, ain't nobody going to stop me. I'm going to get this bag. I'm going to get this money. And that's it. You know, there's no, no excuses. You know what I'm saying? Whatever comes my way, I'm, I'm gonna get it. And that's kind of the, I guess, message I want to put out there that if you want to live life on your terms and you got to make it happen and by any means necessary.